All right, so now that we have already calculated our values of gross profit to all of these different values to net profit, uh, I just need to show you some other options, some other visuals that we can use on our dashboard to present these values. Because all the time you will not be using matrix, there are uh, different options that are better, better suited for different reasons. So two options that I really need to show you here is the first option is going to be this one, the card and the second option is going to be KPI. There's a third option that we will not be using right now, but we will use that later in this course, and that is multiple row card. So first of all, let us work with the card here. So once selected, once you have selected your card, you will notice that there is only one field that you can input here, and that field is going to be a value. So I'm going to present the amount here. So I have selected the amount. And now you will notice that this value that is being presented here right now, you know, we, we haven't applied any filter context until yet, which means that this value is the total of the GL, which means all the PNL and balance sheet values and even the adjusting values have been included here. So this value is quite meaningless. So what I need to do is to apply a filter and for that filter, uh, first of all, let us decide what we want to present here. Let us say I want to present sales. So I will go back to my table chart of accounts and I will see at what level I can define the sales. And you can see that I can define the sales at subclass level. So let us go back and let us say we want to apply a filter in the chart of accounts uh, in, from the subclass. And in that subclass, we only want to see that sales. And now you will notice that we have the correct value that we had expected to see here of 17 million so if you merge if you sum all of these values you will be getting your 17 million that is the sales revenue so before i do the formatting of this value let me show you one more thing let me talk about one more thing and that is the value that we have received here in the squad is a sum of all the three years 18 19 and 20 and uh, you know, that is basically the standard behavior of this uh, visual. If you want to manipulate that, if you want to present only the current year value, you can use that using the advanced text options. But for a simple uh, use, for a simple basic usage, uh, you know, we will not be able to change this value here. So we should only be using the card option where we need to present the value of all of these different uh, years combined together. Well, eventually you can, you know, have a slicer like that for the years and you can manipulate the value using a slicer. That option is still available, but you know, the basic standard function, we should know that as well. So one thing that I need to do before moving forward is to format this value to present all the different, uh, all the, uh, uh, all the numbers and not round it off to the nearest decimal. So let us do that now. And for that, first of all, let us select our visual. And once selected, let us go to the formatting options and in that formatting options, let us go to data label and in that data label, uh, please select this display unit from auto to any change that you want to make. So you can move to thousand or something. I will apply none for now. And once done, you will notice that, you know, if I just drag it down here, you will notice that we have this complete value here. And if you like to check it, uh, cross check it against this one, you can do that as well. And you should be getting your same value if you compile, if you sum the sales revenue of all of these three years. So that is the first visual that we can use to present a standard value on our dashboard. But before I wind this uh, thing up, let me uh, change a bit of the formatting to fix it nicely here in our dashboard. So I will simply select this and go to the formatting options. And in that data label, simply change the font size to something smaller, let us say 30. And also I want to get rid of this amount word here. So I will go back here in the options and I will say, turn the category off and I also want to have a title. So I will go back to this title here, turn that on and let us name it as sales revenue. And once done, I will also like to format it nicely. So I will say background color should be blue and then please make it centrally aligned and please make that a font to Calibri. Okay, so we have done that and let me, you know, make it a bit smaller so that it is appearing nicely on my dashboard. And once we have done that, let me fix it here. Okay, so that was the demonstration of my 
first another uh, first of the you know, second of the options to present a number on my dashboard the first one was matrix and the second one is card in the next lecture we are going to learn another very exciting visualization option and that is going to be kpi